Welcome back, folks. I'm Nick and Goddess from RCTV, and this is Uncommon Sense. When did business people start making decisions based on the primarily unemployed? Ivanka Trump's clothing and jewelry line has been disappearing from shelves and online stores faster than you can say special little snowflake. Places like Nordstrom's and Neiman Marcus have already dropped the Ivanka brand, and department store giant Macy's is feeling the pressure from the perennially butthurt to drop the line as well. Nordstrom's gave the cop-out excuse that Ivanka's line wasn't selling well. Seriously? That's what you're going with? Then why did a Forbes article from six months ago talk about how well the line has performed despite her father's line dropping in sales since he announced his candidacy for president? In fact, Forbes reported that Ivanka's line did $29.6 million better than it did in fiscal year 2015. You don't drop a line if it has been increasing in sales. That's just bad business. Business is business. And whether you like the person behind a product or not, if their line is selling, then it's good business to keep that product on your shelves. As a consumer, if you don't like the person making said product, just don't buy the product. But who are you to tell anyone or any company that they don't have the right to make as much money as they can? The funny thing is that the same people who protest Ivanka's line are not the people who buy her items. Heck, without a job, a lot of these protesters couldn't afford what Ivanka is selling. That may sound elitist and unfair, but since when was life fair? And that's essentially what these sheeple have been protesting from the beginning. They protest the fact that the system isn't going to be there to hold their hand anymore. Welcome to the real world. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kingatis. Until next time, don't let your common sense be uncommon.